Mowing the lawn is one thing, but having to rake up all the cuttings and scoop them up yourself is quite another. However, hidden inside most lawn mowers, there's a brilliant little bit of engineering which is designed to help. The life of your lawn mower begins here in the factory. Cutting grass isn't actually all that tough, so they're made from metal and plastic. However, grass is often wet and all that water can corrode the metal bits. Once all the bits have been made, their next stop is this machine, where they're degreased and coated in a hard-wearing layer of anti-corrosive paint. But the real secret to the labor-saving lawnmower actually begins here, with the blade. Cut from a band of steel that contains about 6% carbon, this really is tough and ideally suited to the job. A massive industrial press cuts fresh blades from the steel while discarding all the rest. It's not wasted though, everything gets recycled. The freshly cut blades emerge from the press here, ready for the next step. So you've got a blade shape, but at the moment it's actually quite blunt, so it needs to be sharpened. The razor you shave with has a cutting angle of about 11 degrees. Lawnmower blades only need an angle of 30 degrees to do their job. They won't end up as sharp as razors, but they will be far stronger when facing tough weeds or even stones. Each of the blades is bent to include a 36 degree angle of wing. It actually makes the grass take off, which sounds amazing, but it's true. Each mower has two blades screwed onto a central pivot. This spins at 2800 revolutions per minute and this is where the wing comes in. The angle pressed into it creates a low pressure area beneath it as it spins. This sucks up the cuttings which are spun around until they pass through the only exit route available to the collection tray. The job's done. The blade is nearly ready to be attached to a mower, but there's one safety measure that it has to go through first. You know you're supposed to clear your lawn before you mow it, but sometimes you forget. If the blade was to hit something solid, it could shatter, so they're all sent off to be hardened. First, they are heated to over 840 degrees Celsius for almost 10 minutes. They are then removed from the heat and transferred to be rapidly cooled by almost 500 degrees. This quick cooling realigns the metal's molecules, hardening it. It's now far less fragile and more capable of hitting rocks, stones or forgotten garden tools without shattering. To build the final unit, a worker will place a central pivot and two freshly hardened blades into this machine. It tightens the bolt to the right specification automatically. The pivots are then added to the lawnmower, which has been taking shape on the production line in another part of the factory. Quality control is of course important, so the finished mowers are run through several tests. To get that blade spinning and saving your back, the engine has to work, so that's switched on and off. And for safety's sake, the blade's ability to slow down is also pretty important. It must stop within three seconds of the operator hitting the kill switch, so this guy has the exciting job of turning it on and off and timing the blade. And finally, gardens are tough places full of sticks and crazy paving and littered with unused rakes, so that mower better be able to handle it. Each new model spends over 100 hours driving on this wooden track to see whether the design will survive some hard wear and tear. Once it's been put through its paces, it's ready to be left in a garden shed until your lawn needs a quick trim. So just remember, sticks and stones may break your bones, but they won't be bothering this lawnmower.